It's been a week and a half and he hasn't said a thing or called or texted Savannah. We were one big family and now we're kind of separate. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So season 18, episode three was so intense and heartbreaking. I didn't think it could get any worse, but for episode four, it is. Just a quick reminder for those of you watching this, I don't want you to confuse yourself with the time frame because a lot has happened in almost two years. This was filmed in winter of 2021. Janelle announced her split from Cody on the one-on-one -on -one special in December of 2022. But Janelle was done with Cody since 2021. She was just waiting to announce it on the one-on-one -on -one special. I think if we both really sat down, we'd look at each other and say, really? We've been separated for several months. What? Yeah. Cody and I have separated and I'm happy, really happy. So most of us were able to see Janelle and Cody share their thoughts with the world on how their relationship was just deteriorating. Now keep in mind before their big blowout, Janelle did state that Cody hasn't called, visited, or spoken to her in a week. At all of this time that he went without speaking to her, they were still together, husband and wife. That's just ridiculous. Can't you all see where her frustration comes in at? But in a preview for episode four, it shows the aftermath of where everyone stands after all of the differences for the holidays, who's going to be where, who's going to be split up. Janelle said it's been a week and a half since they have received any type of text or call from Cody, and she doubts that he'll show up to see his kids on Christmas, even Savannah. Savannah said herself that we were one big family and now we're separated. I just feel like that is so sad and it's a shame that Cody doesn't know how to separate his feelings about Janelle and what's going on with their marriage from his kids. Why have you not spoken to your teenage daughter in a week and a half? That's ridiculous. Why have you not manned up and picked up the phone to call your sons to work things out so that your family can be together on Christmas? In the roundtable talk with Garrison, Gabe, Gwen, Christine, and Janelle, and Savannah was there as well. You could see all of them just really frustrated, but you still want to see them be very vulnerable. You see them make the opportunity to make things right with their dad. In the discussion, Garrison says that Cody doesn't care enough to call to have a conversation. He even added that we have a father that doesn't want to be in our lives. We don't need a father figure anymore. We are adults. But that is not true. They do need a father. No matter how old they get, Cody needs to realize that these boys are speaking from a place of hurt and pain and they do need their father. They may not want to admit it because a lot of young men don't want to admit things that may make them feel weak or vulnerable. But I mean, Gabe of all of his children is very, very open about his relationship with his dad and how hurt he is. Even when Cody didn't call him on his birthday, he broke down and started crying. But with this, we will see it play out on season four. I do have some more clips that I am going to share in another video. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any updates. Bye for now.